Are we doing this? <laughs> yes. Alright. Okay, you're starting. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and we'll get the lens there. Oh, that's the thing I need instead to Instead of like... Right, Instead yeah. of looking at yourself, look at the lens. I don't want to look at myself sometimes so I can look and I can see what how much of an idiot I am. No, okay. Yeah, look at okay. be just like, look at that twat. He's talking. Oh yeah, it's me. Yeah. Anyway, hi. Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Nick. I looked in the wrong second place. Brilliant. This is gonna be harder than we thought. Oh it really is. Okay, try again. Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Nick. The end. That's the end of that's our story. It. No, well, no we're, more. We're done now. That's that's the end of it. That's like, our first vlog. Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Nick. Uh, I'm originally from England. And I'm from Toronto, Canada. And yep, we met while we were here in Canada and we've now uh, set up shop officially here in Toronto. We both have a really big love for all things um, travel, learning new languages, and working on new cultures, especially via food and everything else. Over the course of the pandemic, we had one night where we went and had like a gluttonous night of like pizza mm -hmm. and cookies, and we nice. just kind of talked about like our priorities in life, mm -hmm. and we came to the conclusion that instead of having a huge house, we would rather be able to travel the world, and so this is kind of like the beginning of that. So with that then, this is kind of our first attempt, our first foray, if you will, into trying a travel vlog. Uh, not least because today we are going to be going on our first excursion together um, in an all new country. So we're going to be going to Morocco, which we've never been to before. And not only is it a new country, it's a new continent because neither of us have ever been to Africa either. Exactly. So all very, very exciting stuff. Um, so yeah. With that then, um, over the coming few videos, then we're going to be documenting everything that we do, um, as well as kind of sharing any tips and tricks uh, that we pick up along the way. And, um, and yeah, the purpose is entirely that you get to follow along and experience it all with us. Here we go. Yeah, let's do it. To Morocco. Jesus. All right, cool. <laughs> We went to Stars and we got some food to 
to give us some energy, although we maybe should sleep on the flight a little bit. Yeah, maybe, but I was feeling pretty angry by this point, so definitely needed a little bit of that fuel. And then we also went and got some universal adapters. So anyway, we just figured we would talk you through about why we're going to Morocco and also why Tapir Portugal. Yep, so once upon a time, way before uh, the pandemic and stuff, uh, two of my very good friends were meant to be getting married and uh, the proposed date was in June 2020 I believe. I also needed a, just a nice vacation afterwards. Then I booked a trip to Italy to tap Air Portugal. The pandemic hit, it hit Italy really hard um, and so pretty much had to abandon all the plans. The tap Air Portugal credit was left over. So. When Rachel and I first met, obviously we were having a chat about some travel plans and everything like that, and I mentioned that I had this credit. So we had a look at the appropriate destinations that we wanted to go to. Morocco seemed the most appealing to us um, because it's an all new continent for both of us and just a different culture. So with that, then we opted to go for that. And because of the credit, then we both managed to get a very, very reasonable price um, on a round trip. So that is why we are Headed to Casablanca right now. We literally just sat down and it looks like we've got a little package. So we've got these at all headphones so we don't have to worry about that which is great so we can add that to the entertainment and then got this little package um, looks to me like it's a uh, branded blanket and then a pillow obviously so awesome for me i'm six foot five so being able to actually have space to recline is kind of important so actually when i lean back it's plenty of room so actually it kind of helps me to sleep so it's gonna work really well Basically, it sounds like we exited to the area where European flights leave from mm -hmm. instead of staying in the international area. Exactly. But we did encounter some friendly people who worked mm -hmm. here who were understanding which and was great. Uh, directed us yeah. in the right direction. And so now, now we're we just waiting on our gate because we don't know what it is. That's how early we are. Yep, exactly. And this is why it's good to have lots of time between connecting flights and not just an hour. city 
story. So the flight from Pearson to Lisbon was absolutely fine, no issues whatsoever. And then we started to board for Casablanca, and all of that seemed to go well. We were on the flight, everything was good. And then just as it was about to take off, it just stopped and started taxiing back, and there was a technical issue, and we ended up having to disembark. So then, after spending two hours on the plane, we disembarked, and then we spent the next hour and a half in line to talk to the one customer service agent who I felt so bad for dealing with all the passengers on the flight. I don't think anyone was, or everyone was as lucky as we were, but we managed to get on a flight to Marrakech, which is where we are now, and we have a connecting flight to Casablanca tonight. So while we've missed, I'd say, like an entire day, it could have been a poor box. Okay, so it turns out there was a slight mix up at the airport. We kind of got ushered through at Marrakesh under the impression that we were all going to be banded in on the same flight. But it turns out that some of us ended up having a flight for 6.50 p.m. Um, and then the rest of us had it one for 9 p.m. So this is now the 9 p.m. flight because we unfortunately just couldn't get space on the earlier flight so here we are we are going to be doing this for 50 minutes and then we'll be finally touching down in Casablanca. Ah, slight perk of having a girlfriend who's a physio and you being sat one row behind the other she can give you massage while you wait Okay, so this is our hotel room in Casablanca. I almost forgot where we were. <laughs> we have one double bed over here. And we have a desk. And then we have more double beds over here. And then our washroom is in here and it looks like we have a shower okay so basic shower and a toilet and a sink so this is where we're staying for just one night and so after 36 hours we've finally finally reached our hotel in Casablanca and needless to say, we are exhausted. So we are going to wrap this one up for now. Um, so feel free to tune in for the next one. In the meantime, take care and thanks for watching. Keep smiling.